Hey there YouTube, it is Can I Touch or I Touch here, and for my first video ever, I'm going to be showing you how to get free apps on your iPod or iPod Touch or iPhone, which is always useful. So uh, the reason I'm not actually doing the video for my iPod is because I currently don't have a camera that will, will let me see the home the screen of the iPod clearly enough. So I'm going to be using a program on my computer that will allow me allow me to view and control my iPod. And if you want to know how to use this and where to get this program, then message or comment about comment me about it and I'll make a video. So yeah, you're going to need a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch, and I would recommend that Wi-Fi because you're going to be downloading the app. So you're going to need to open up Cydia and go to manage. And then we're going to go to sources because we need to add a source and go to edit and add. And the URL of the source is Cydia, C Y D I A dot Haculo, H A C K U L O dot us, U S. I already have the source added, so I'm not going to click it, but you're going to need to click Add Source, and when it goes to the screen to download the source and all the packages, it may take a while, so pause the video if you need to. And if you couldn't read that, because it might be small in the video when I upload it, I'm not sure, then, you'll, then I'll put the name of the source in my description. Then you're going to click Done, and go back, and we're going to go to Search. And then we're going to go to we're going to go to search and search install us I N S T A L L O U S and then it's going to be the first one right there install us. I'm going to click on it and you're going to click install in the top right hand corner but I already have it so I don't need to and mine just says modify and then it's going after you click install it's going to take you to another page which will say confirm and you click confirm and it will download the app and that may take a couple minutes so pause the video if you need to but I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I already have the app and go to my home screen and then once you download it it will have uh, see that go look at my dock in the very middle app the one with the drive on it and the download arrow that's going to be the icon that pops up and as you can see it is install us I highlight it and it says right there and then I'm going to hit home and I'm going to open it up and uh, as you can see it has the cert the browse where you can browse the apps as your downloads where after you download the app it will appear here for you to click on and click install and then under settings it'll have the clean and dirty install method I would use the clean method because it allows for nice things like updating but it only use the dirty method if the clear method doesn't work and it also has the iTunes sync I don't use that because it clears out my apps every time I sync but I would recommend using that unless it doesn't work for you and as you can see the home screen hasn't loaded yet as I expected it to this may take a little bit oh there it is and this should pop up any second now still waiting on the home screen to, there it is appeal.us and of course has the browse apps browse alphabetically browse by newest and browse by newest updates has the information about it and the support but I don't have the time to browse to the app so I'm just going to to dem demonstrate this I'm just gonna search an app so I'm gonna click on search in the top right hand corner and click there and I'm going to search duck hunt, duck hunt because everybody enjoys a good old duck hunt enter the name and then just click search and it's going to go a page to a page that has displayed your search results just click on the app and right there the first module it has the image of the the image of the app has who developed it the name of the app the category the latest version all that good stuff as you can see you would have to pay 99 cents which isn't really that bad but still all things are better free has a screenshot of the app and of course it has the description which is always important and then has the newest the, the features in the newest update it has the languages languages it supports and the requirements the requirements is increasingly important because if uh, like if this one only supports 2.2 and if you had 2.1 and you uh, download this app then you'd go through all the trouble of downloading it and it wouldn't work so then you're going to want to go to download and click the newest version and it will have the iPhone friendly links and the other links they're only click on the iPhone friendly links if you really want the app then you can try one of the other links but I doubt they'll work because they're not under iPhone friendly for a reason 
see how you'll click on the uh, page and it'll go to the page of the website which may take a minute and then this page will load to shared.com I have never used this before so I really don't know the interface of course you have to wait for it to wait load I'm going to zoom in so I'll be able to read all this there's a bunch of words and stuff right there I'm not going to read not at the time and then we're gonna click save file to your PC we're obviously not on a PC but I think this will work and it does when you come to this screen always click download do not click install because I don't I've never clicked install before and I don't know what it'll do but I always click download and that's always worked for me so always click download and I'll go to here where it will start to download your app it may take a second to start the download but it should any second now there it is there as you can see I picked a small app so it will load very fast for you it's not really going that fast it's only about oh it's going up usually my computer downloads about 120 kilobytes a second I usually like these kind of sites because they don't have a cap on the uh, your speed of download like I know a couple sites allow you to only go to 50 kilobytes a second which is quite bothersome when you can go up to 120 and it'll download the app in a little bit and as you can see it's already at 75 percent so it'll take only a couple more seconds and that'll be great so it's almost done as you can see and it is finished you want to wait until the uh, the speed of the download stops moving so you can so you know that it's done downloading and then go to downloads and as you can see it's right there above the iShoot .com, and you click on it and you click install and it may take a little bit and then it'll go to this it'll check it'll decompress the archive and all that and it'll go through a bunch of stages and once this part is finished which may take a little bit the decompressing the archive is always the slowest and once it gets past that as you can see it goes halfway immediately and in probably about five seconds it'll be done there and then you're going to click on home and go as soon as it goes to the home screen. Home. Home. Go to home iPod. Thank you. Um, I open my music mod, my quick music module, and here we go. And as you can see, I have my home page right here. Go over. And then there it is, the last app right there, Duck Hunt. And as you can see, it's oh, crashed. Oh, it keeps crashing. Of course, when, it cra when an app crashes like that, then you'll want to re reboot your iPod. And since I'm on a first-gen iPod, it'll take forever for me to reboot. So you're just going to take my word that it'll work. But of course, it will work. Like iShoot, as you can see, was another one of those apps I had downloaded. And I opened this one up. And... As soon as it opens up, you'll, you can see that works perfectly. Works like any other app. And it's quite a fun app, actually. So, yeah, that was my tutorial on how to get free cracked app from the App Store. So, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll make more videos for you guys. Thanks. Have a great day, I guess.